you can make it open up anything as long as it's a GUI. However, I will be showing you how to make the shop and in another video I will be showing you how to make it so you can buy game passes and developer products in that shop. Okay, let's get into the video. Okay, so guys, the first thing you're going to want to do is make sure that your explorer is open. If it's not open, click on view, click on explorer here so it's grayed out. And then it should appear on your right side here. Then when you find start a GUI, click on the plus and add a screen GUI. Then in that screen GUI, we are going to add a text button. And then once we have the text button, we are just going to move it to where we want because this is what we're going to use to open up the shop. So we can just rescale it if we want. And then obviously you can customize it as well. So I'm just going to make it so that it is green actually no i'll use blue for this then here where it says border size pixel i recommend putting that to zero because that gets rid of the outline here because that's no outline but then if you leave it at one there is an outline so it depends on whether you like it or not and whether it looks good in your game then we're going to need to scroll down and I personally like to have light blue and white. I think that that's a pretty nice combo for it. However, again, you can change text color to what you want. Then at text scaled, I like to take it personally because it makes it as big as possible. Then here at font, I like to change it to Arial bold because I just think it looks really nice. But here it says button. We don't want it to say button. So just under the font, we come to text and we type in what we want. So let's just put shop. Now it says shop. Then you're just going to want to rename this button to open shop. Just so you know that that's the button you use to open the shop. Because when you start to get into all of the scripting and if you have multiple GUIs open, then it can get a little bit complicated remembering what is what if you don't rename them. So I recommend renaming them as soon as you make them. So then in open shop, we're just going to add a local script. Then here, just copy and paste what will be in the pinned comment section down below and here this is basically saying if there is a mouse that clicks on it once it will open up the gui however we don't have the gui yet so we need to make that so in screen gui click the plus add a frame again just resize the frame to how you want let's just say we're gonna have it like this then we're just going to make it so that there is no border. We're going to make this blue again. Then we are going to have it so. And then what we're going to do once we've made this is we're just going to get a scrolling frame. This is so if you want to scroll from different items, you use a scrolling frame. But personally, I like to have a scrolling frame inside of a frame while in the shop because what you can do if it's like that is in the scrolling frames properties, scroll down and then it, you find vertical scroll bar position. I like to have that on the left personally. However, again, that is just personal preference. Then if you come here, background color, again, change it to what you want. Okay, I've got it as this now. However, look, there is still an outline, and that's not a very nice one. So, what we're going to do is we're just going to get rid of the outline again. 
and now we have got this so i'm gonna put it like here for now and up to here because this is another frame inside of a frame so here i'll just demonstrate what happens so let's say we put a text label here i'm not even gonna bother changing it but uh okay so we have got two text labels let me just find this one's up there and then one's down here you can only see them when you scroll however it doesn't scroll this part as well which is very useful so let's say you want to have buttons for different sections in the shop so let's say you've got two types of currency like maybe cash and then gems and then you also want to have game passes something like that you can just have different sections for all of them and then once you're here if you want maybe add a nice little text label just here balance it out just to the top here leave a little bit of space and now i'm not gonna make it the same color i have a slightly darker shade of blue i use it's this one here and then i'm just gonna scroll down all the way down till i see the font i'm gonna change that to arial bold as i love arial bold and i'm gonna make text scaled and i'm just gonna make the text shop then I'm going to make text color white. And I'm just going to make border size pixel zero. So here. Now we can scroll down. But the thing is, this short part stays here. Which I like. Because if you want the text to scroll with it, you just put it in here. But if you don't, you just put it above. So we may have made it so the shop opens. However, we haven't made it close yet. But first things first. I just need to show you the local script that we copied and pasted earlier. It says dot shop frame visible, which means uh, I'm gonna change my um, frame to be called shop frame. Bear in mind this is cap sensitive. However, if you want to name it something else or just want to name it frame or something like that, Feel free, you just need to change it in the local script. So while I'm here, I might just rename this to shop GUI. Okay, so guys, now in shop frame, just click on the plus, then add another text button. We're gonna bring this just up to here. We're not gonna bring it into the very corner, just kind of close. Actually, this is a little bit small, so I'm just gonna get to the scrolling frame and Move it down a little bit and then I'm gonna come to here and bring it like that. And then we have more space to work with this. This is going to be the button we use to close the shop. Then I like to maybe have it red just so it's like a big X. And you can have this as an image if you want. But it's just easier to use text button. So then text color, I'm going to have it white. But then for the background color, I'm going to come here, like about halfway here for a pastel -y sort of red. Because I think that looks really nice with the, blue that, with the blue that I'm using. Then we just need to come down here and make it so text is scaled and then where it says text just put an x however this is where i recommend using one of the bold fonts for example arial bold because it doesn't fill all the way and with arial bold it looks way better in my opinion and then in text button we just want to add another local script then copy and paste the second script that will be the first reply to the pinned comment and this is what's going to close it if i were you i would just rename this to close shop or close button but yeah 
Now, let's test it out. Oh, by the way, if you don't want this to show as soon as you spawn in, then you are going to want to make it so it is not visible. However, if you have ever played Dot Me, you will know that they always have the rules and like don't trust scammers, all that stuff. And if you want to have some sort of warning, then it's a good way to have it visible and not have a way to reopen it. However, if you just want it to pop up as like the shop straight away, then you can keep it visible. But otherwise, just come down in here and make sure visible is unticked. However, if you are working on it, you need to make it visible so you can actually see it. One thing I did notice though, was that uh, my closed shop, I forgot to get rid of the outline. So I'm just gonna do that now. And now we are just going to press play. And as you can see on the left of my screen, it says shop. I click on that, the shop comes up, we can scroll, there's nothing in it yet. Make sure to leave a like because I will be doing a part two to the shop tutorial on how to make developer products and how to make game passes actually work in the shop so you can buy them. And also, if you click on the X, it will also work. Just make sure to use the scripts I used. And if you are changing the names of anything, make sure to change them in the scripts or just have it as the same name that I used. Thank you guys so much for watching this tutorial. If you enjoyed it or found it helpful in any way, then please leave a like and maybe even subscribe. But yeah, until next time, bye guys.